So I know his farm is somewhere around... <gasps> oh my gosh. A charged portal. <gasps> On the ring. Buongiorno amici, ciao a tutti, sono BC, and welcome to another episode on the Diamond Society. I'm downtown in Red Star Theater, home of the Pokenoggin Championships, and October has come and gone, and it's time to find out who the winner is and who is taking home that stack of diamond blocks behind me, and... If anyone else is taking away another stack of diamond blocks for catching every single unique Pokemon, there may be a contender, guys. There may be a contender. And I might be flat broke after this is done. In addition to the Poke Noggins, they could have caught player heads, and those player heads are worth diamond ore, so... Yeah, man, best of luck to everybody. How are we gonna decide the winner? This is how, guys. I went through and determined who participated and who did not. Each of these chests has been modified, so there are only one name on each chest. If you played, you know who you are. If you didn't, uh, you know who, maybe you don't know because you're probably not here anymore. Anyway, uh, inside, you're gonna see a Book and Quill and a Pokenoggin Pokedex. That's just for additional reference. You should already have one. But I need you to take this book of quill and you are going to put the number of unique Pokenoggins that you have captured inside that book and quill. Now, I'd also appreciate it if you could go ahead and bring your Pokeballs in, or Pokeboxes, I guess you could say, in, and uh, only with unique ones and put it inside here. All the different Pokeboxes that you have with just uniques, no duplicates. Hang on to all the duplicates, they're yours. All the unique ones, those are also yours too. I'm not taking them. You get them back. I just want them just to verify in case I need to etc etc place all that on the book and quill place the number the uh just the number that you captured or what you believe it to be and uh yeah i'll come through and decide who the winner is if you guys could knock that out in the next week that would be terrific in front of me is uh is something that i've been working on all october long man and i've been trying to get it done in time for halloween and i failed i failed miserably guys and i'll tell you why man this last month, or for the month of September and October, my oldest boy has been in cross country. And uh, this year he was on varsity cross country, and this kid was making it happen, dude. He was taking names. He ended up going all the way to state championships, guys. And if you don't know, cross country is intense. There's a lot of coaching, a lot of training, and he ran every single day until 6, 6.30 at night. And then we'd have to get home and do dinner and then homework and blah, blah, blah. And then every Saturday there was a track meet. And guys, I've had no free time. <laughs> I've had I've had zero free time, for real. But in the little free time that I did have, I've been working diligently on this sweet build that I'm really, really excited about. Some of you, this might stand out immediately as a very iconic building in the world. Some of you guys, you might just not get it. If you think real long and hard about iconic looking firehouses, I was trying to complete the Ghostbusters headquarters in time for Halloween, and it was going to lead into some other kind of fun shenanigans, but guys, I just I couldn't get it done. So, And in fact, it's still not done. And that's what we're going to kind of uh, finish up today. But in order to finish this up, I actually need quite a bit of shulker boxes. Uh, to work on the top design there. So I need to go to my little uh, area here and grab shulker boxes. And actually, yeah, I need to go and determine my amount of unique Pokenoggins. So let me grab my goodies right there. And you can see I got this charged creeper head, one of my prized possessions. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, I, I wouldn't have had that unless it was for Cortez Arino. Uh, that guy put in some serious work and dedication. Let's head off to my little area so that I can grab the things that I need to finish this build up. What is this? I feel like every time I fly to this base, I'm saying, what is this? <laughs> it looks like a shulker. Dude. Oh, Addy, this couldn't have come at a better time, for real. Oh my gosh, 
Awesome. All right, I'm going to clean this up, and uh, then I'll meet you guys down in my little Pokenoggin lair. So since the last time that we were down here, I have actually expanded this room quite a bit and finished it out, and I'll tell you what, I probably could have made it bigger had I had more time to catch the Pokenoggins, man. I just... I just got to a point where I just couldn't uh, I couldn't sustain the going out and catching them anymore. So there are definitely some that we're still missing. Pretty good collection. This is my favorite, guys. The Shulker is probably my favorite noggin of all of them, dude. They're they're all really cool. And kudos go out to the folks that that put these together. Anyway, let me get all these sorted out and put it into where I need them. Get all my extras. Uh, Somewhere we'll probably do something uh, creepy and bizarre with them. And, uh, yeah, let me go and turn in my submission, and uh, I'll meet you back over at the firehouse. All right, boys and girls, I have taken all of them down. I've put them into their little boxes. Everything, I ended up with four boxes, or just over three. And here's my official entry. I had 85 unique total Poke Noggins, man, and I was missing... The Hero Brine, which is extremely rare, man. I would have had to been caving and caving and caving. I didn't get any of the villager zombies. I never got the bat. I never got the mushroom. And that wasn't for lack of trying, man. I even went to a mushroom biome and I could and I waited like maybe an hour, two hours, and not one would spawn. There were no mushrooms. They were gone. Um I didn't realize that I didn't catch the black rabbit. That was an oversight. Missing two llamas, the magna cube. And the regular spider. So I also found in my boxes, I found the um, the iron golem. I didn't realize I had the iron golem, so that was an extra one. And my two legendaries that I've caught were Howitzer and Ethice. So my official entry, this book is signed. You can see it's called Official Entry. It's got my name on it. So that is my official entry. Let me put my Pokedex back here. And uh, I'm going to take this back up, submit it to the theater, and uh, now we got these shulker shells. I'm going to go ahead and turn them into some boxes as well uh, and uh, go ahead and make my way back over to the firehouse. So see you there. Now, one thing that can be difficult in Minecraft, specifically vanilla Minecraft with no texture packs, is like matching your color palette, right? So here, I'm going to get in a position, I think, of right about, eh, yeah, like right about here. And uh, over to the right, I'm going to put the actual drawing, or the, I'm sorry, the photograph that I'm using as my reference for this build. Uh, but yeah, you can see I'm trying to do my best as far as using the, uh, the gray concrete powder and the brick, the stone brick, just to kind of achieve the look that we're looking for. And it's, it, it's really a balancing act as far as what material you're using where. But I think so far everything is, is turning out really well. Here's a, here's a comparison shot of the front yeah so anyway we're up to the part right here where if you look let me let me go back over here so if you look like towards the top corner you see those uh big kind of sconce structures right there now that is kind of where we're at right now and there's really no super smart intelligent way to build those and so i've had to to take a lot of creative liberty in order to achieve that shape or that type of, I don't know, just a concept in general. So, uh, and I'm trying to achieve like kind of the dark shadow in it through the use of shulker boxes. And I think I've come up with a product that I like quite a lot. Um, it, it's really kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. The, the design really is pretty abstract. Uh, as far as what we are doing and what materials we're using. So first thing I'm going to do is take out some of this stuff here. I actually want to put, let's see here, I think, okay, I need to remove this guy like that. And okay, we're there. And the only, the reason why I'm putting it right here is to break up this transition between this brick and this powder right here just to make it a little bit smoother. Um, oh, it's getting dark. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then we can uh, move on. But yeah, I mean, I really want to try and break up that line right there. And uh, trying to kind of just promote the shape that I'm going for as best as I can. All right. And let's get back up here. Hello. 
Oh, ouch. Okay. All right, now let's see. I want to, yeah, 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 I can reach this. This is, this is a stretch here. Let's see, is it right? Right there, uh-huh. And then this guy there, that guy upside down. And then this is where our shulker boxes are going to come in handy. So I've got two. These are from two people that have left the server. These are their Pokenoggin uh, Pokeballs. So they're going to live on in infamy inside of the builds. So let's see here. So, you know, it's like people, even though they may leave the Diamond Society, they're definitely not... They're definitely not forgotten. They're nef definitely not gone forever, man. So I want to place that one that way. And, you know, we can uh, we can incorporate them into our builds, man. So they're just they're here forever. All right, get rid of that stuff there. Okay, now I've got this design here. I want to go ahead and put. Let's see. I need that and this guy here and there. And then uh, let's see. I want to put. First time using the actual concrete itself. Hmm. Is that the right color? Yeah. Huh. It just looks... Oh! Oh! Ouch. Ow. Uh, come on. Go! Go! Oh, must be lagging at the house. <laughs> that just means somebody is, uh... Somebody's playing a game or downloading something. Whew. All right, here we go. Let's come in on this side. This is where we needed to be. Put that guy there. Okay, I want to trade these dudes out for some regular brick like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay, let's see. Let's work our way out like this. And we're going to put a stone like that. I want to stick an anvil. Right there, this dude there, and let's work our way around here. Nope, not yet. Ah. Okay, and then you're going to be right there and right there. Yeah, okay, good. That is generally what I'm looking for. Now, let me go ahead and repeat the one right next to it. So that when I kind of go away a little bit, and uh, you'll kind of get a better perspective of the two together. As always, it started to rain, but rain or shine, we are going to get through this project. So I've already, <laughs> I kind of got a little carried away and went went ahead and went around the corner and finished all four of these sconces. But you can see, the design is pretty solid, pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure about that concrete block right there. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just. There's a slight variation in color between these two that I might kind of swap it out. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, anyway, something good has started here. Now, I need to just kind of continue this all the way around. The sconces are only going to be in the front and I think the back of the building. i got to check the photograph again. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and finish those up all the way around. And then we'll start working on the ceiling part. It's going to be pretty simple from that point on. There's not too much complex... Uh, design stuff going on in the top, but also something to note, all of those shulker boxes right there, man, all all eight of those, those are all from members that uh, either left the server or didn't participate in Pokenoggin. So again, you guys live on, man, nothing new so far. This is all recycled material and uh, you guys will be immortalized in the Ghostbusters headquarters. So let me finish that off and uh, yeah, we'll be right back when um, when we're going to put the uh, the roof on this thing. The top rim is done, man, and, uh, man, I'm really liking the way that this is all kind of coming together. And we just have a couple layers on top to finish up, and it will be all done and all good, except for the inside, of course. A little bit more work on the inside, probably, that, you know, we'll take our time on that. I mean, that's Minecraft, right? You always build a sweet building, and then it's like it's just a big hollow thing. But I definitely want to deck this out as much as possible. I don't know if I can create a exact replica of the uh, Ghostbusters headquarters, but definitely do some cool stuff and uh, got to build the, um, the, what is it, Ecto-1? So we got to do that. Now, the one thing, let's see, that that goes on is actually there's a rim of uh, concrete just like it is right there on the building, and we're going to do that by going around on this level here. And so while I'm doing this, just want to kind of talk about 
you know, what's going on and what's been going on and just the what, what, and the what, man. Like I said, my kid's been in, uh, in cross country. That's been really busy. Now my daughter's in volleyball. That's going to be really busy. I think actually now my son will transition on into soccer season. Uh, so really excited about that. And, uh, you know, like I said, it was his, it was his uh, second year of doing cross country. But this is the year that everything just kind of clicked for him. And he really, really did well. Um, ended up playing on the or being on the varsity team and uh, actually did well enough. So he was third in his school going into uh, the state championships. And, uh, and he did really well at the state championships. First time around, a good learning experience for him. So super, super kudos. But uh, also, man, things have, been, uh, things have been busy for me too, like with work and just, you know, stuff in general. So the kind of pace of my work has, has picked up significantly. I've been doing a lot of traveling. I talked about that. Been doing a lot of traveling, kind of back and forth between here, between Hawaii and the West Coast, um, and it's all been really, really good, man. In fact, uh, I have one more uh, significant trip coming up in the in the next few weeks, and then uh, get a, get to a take a break for a little while. Um, while I've been on those trips, I've been doing, you know, having some extra vacation time. I have a brother; uh, both of my brothers actually live on the West Coast, so I've been doing some visiting of family. So not only has it been the business trip, but I've been kind of coupling uh, that time with um, with them as well. So taking advantage of the fact that you know I'm already being sent to that part of the world. So why not why not uh, get to enjoy my brothers at the same time? So I've been doing that. So on top of all of that, I've actually been preparing for a bit of a change in my life. So. Uh, so the job I've been with, the company I've been with, I've been with, uh, for gosh, a little over 20 years. Uh, everything's been going great, man. I, I love my job. I really enjoy it. It's challenging. Um, I get opportunities to like, you know, live in cool places and, um, uh, you know, there's been room for growth the whole time that I've been, uh, with the organization. And I really like just the people I work with and just everything about it. Um, and, uh, but, you know, again, 20 years is a long time. Well, 20, 22 years uh, with the company has been a long time. Uh, again, enjoyed it, but been looking at potentially kind of starting something new in my life, potentially some entrepreneurship or, you know, whatever. Um, taking, taking some time out and uh, living near family. Uh, also, um, also trying to find a good location for like the kids to kind of finish up their schooling and potentially move on to college. And, and so been doing some house hunting and stuff like that. And just kind of got a pre preliminary stuff, just kind of getting ready for, you know, the, the thought of, of, of moving on and starting something new within the next, uh, I don't know, within the next six months or, or so. Um, and oddly enough, uh, we, Things were kind of going in a really good direction, and we decided, hey, maybe we want to go ahead and look at buying a house. So, um, so actually, in these business trips that I've been uh, going on to the West Coast, part of that also has been doing a little bit of house hunting in addition to visiting family. And uh, and we found a place that we really really liked a lot, and you thought, you know what, we need to go ahead and uh, maybe kind of make a move on this place. And so we started kind of making a move for it and, you know, really been working hard at the, at the, the prospect of transitioning and, and, uh, and doing something cool and, and moving to this new area because it's near family and, and it's a, a great location. Uh, and then we, uh, I don't know, long story short, things kind of fell through. <laughs> uh, they fell through at least, you know, with the, uh, you know, with the, purchasing of the of the house um and and we were we were really kind of uh, boohooing about it i mean um it was unexpected we thought everything was gonna kind of line up with what we wanted and um and then uh, it just didn't and so it, it was it was kind of uh we, we learned on on a saturday that things may not go our way 
Um, and then uh, it was, I think, Monday afternoon when we actually got the call to say that, um, yeah, things weren't going to work out um, and that we needed to needed to think about kind of reevaluating and reassessing kind of where we are at and uh, and maybe getting some other uh, – get some other capital together and, and just kind of getting some other things sorted out. So, so yeah, we, we kind of, uh, swallowed that pill and, and kind of, you know, thought, okay, we're, we gotta, we gotta figure out a new game plan and then we'll kind of come back strong and, and attack the situation in a different way. Uh, and, and again, you know, a little, little salty, a little, uh, upset, a little miffed about, you know, the idea that things were, things were kind of falling through on something that we were really looking forward to. And then very unexpectedly, and I mean, extremely, extremely, <laughs> extremely unexpectedly, uh, the next day I go to work like any other day. Everything's fine. Everything's normal. Uh, actually, I hadn't even gotten to work. I was um, I was getting ready for work, and I got a phone call uh, while I was brushing my teeth, and I was being offered a promotion, <laughs> a very very civic, sig- a very very significant promotion, uh, might I add, uh, one that uh, one that uh, I honestly cannot under any circumstance refuse it is uh it's significant and it means uh it means big things for my future and for my family and and really that's that's kind of like a huge thing is is um just the security and the and the um the security and and the idea of of knowing what this means for my family is just, it's unbelievably incredible. <laughs> like I can't, I can't even begin to, to describe just how amazing it is. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take this promotion <laughs> and all these plans that I've been making on you know, all this stuff that I thought I had figured out, um, all this, all this work that I've been doing lately, uh, turned out to be, I don't want to say for nothing because I definitely, you know, nothing is for nothing if you learn something. Like I'm a firm believer in that. If you walk away from something, uh, walk away from an experience in life, uh, and even if that experience was an absolute failure, if you learn something, then there's no way you could you can con- constitute it as a failure. I mean, there's just no, there's no way, man. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, got a curveball, man. Got a curveball out of nowhere, and uh, we're gonna run with it. We are going to run with it. I am out of stone. So what does that mean? What does that mean for me right now? What does that mean for uh, this channel and and? Uh, and the future of everything, I, I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know, and uh, I wish it did, uh, but I just don't. Uh, I know that my life's gonna get very, very busy, and uh, <laughs> I, I know that um, that I'm gonna have a lot more uh, demanding requirements um, on me, and uh, yeah, you know, it's not that I don't want to make videos. It's not that I don't want to play games. It's not that I don't want to hang out with my friends and enjoy people here on the Diamond Society. It's dude, this is hard. This this takes a lot of time. Uh and you know the only reason right now that I'm still doing work in the garage is because uh I'm being hired. I have a customer that I, I have a deadline to meet. Um and and that's difficult. But sitting at a computer and uh and doing Minecraft, it's, it's hard, and it takes a lot of time, and it takes a lot of time to build and gather resources, and it takes a lot of time to edit, and and uh, time is a commodity, man. Yeah, kind of a bummer. But uh, anyway, check this out. I just I still need to put like the brick. Uh, 
I need to put the bricks surround on this building. Let's see if we can go look at it from a different angle, like maybe over here. Let me go sit in this dude's windowsill. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean you get the idea. But this is uh, this is it, dude. This is. I'm gonna kill myself trying to look at it. Yeah, bruh. I just got to finish off the top, but like I am legitimately just out of resources, man. I am I am so hurt. Not, I've used so much stone in this build; it is incredible. Like I just I don't have I don't have the resources, and you know now I got to go find them. But uh, man, I'm really liking the way this is built. I'm really digging it. And so I got to work out the in interior, and I'm definitely gonna get that nailed down. Uh, you can kind of see. Can I get in here? Oh yeah, I'm like in insect mode. So I started doing like a, a a second wall on the inside, like a second skin. And all I'm doing is I'm copying the bricks from the uh, outside to the inside. But um, yeah, I wanna kind of work it out so that you don't see all the black trim in the windows because I mean, you gotta get depth, but you can't, in the end, when you're finished with your build, you can't see the depth that you've created as, uh, as a skin, right? You gotta always put skin over your depth. So sometimes you're building, you know, granite, we've just got the one dimension in here, we got the one dimension outside, but in between, you know, you look, man, we're talking four or five layers going on here. So and that's how we get it. That's how we achieve. But yeah, this is uh again, this was meant to be something that I finished for Halloween and uh all part of an elaborate kind of thing. But uh it's still awesome. I wanted to build this in season one as the the downtown firehouse to be the um, uh, you know, the fire station for Diamond City. But uh, as it stands, we'll do it for uh, we'll do it for Red Star, and I think it'll end up cool. So yeah, definitely a building that I wanted to finish uh, before. This has been something I've always wanted to kind of do in Minecraft. It's not I'm not the first person to ever do it. You've seen it done many many times. I will say that. Um, out of the ones that I've seen, uh, if you do a quick Google search, uh, I'd probably beg, I, I'd probably, I would probably say that I might be the most detailed. That's all I'm, I, I don't know. But hey, if you see one that stands out to you, shoot it my way, dude. I'd definitely like to go check it out. Maybe go visit that person's video, give them some props. Because uh, that's that's what this is all about, man. It's about community. It's about expanding community and, and sharing the love. But yeah, this is my uh, Ghostbusters firehouse. I'm going to get it all wrapped up and uh, finished. Got to get some more stone. But uh, yeah, man, pretty sweet. If you're a Diamond Society member and you're still hanging around, uh, make sure you get your stuff into the uh, the theater here for your official final entry to the, uh, the Pokenoggin competition. And, uh, yeah, who are you going to call? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao a tutti. Bye-bye.